this is our response to living in these really precarious times. We feel that making art, especially art from direct human experience, is a vessel for change of consciousness, for digesting experience, both for performer and the audience. So we are hoping that this is a communal experience. We're kind of going back to the roots of theatre, which is a ritual. And we are really inviting the audience tonight to be participating with us through bringing attention to their direct experience, to their bodily sensations. And we believe that the presence of the audience is what the, draws the performance out. And we believe that the performance will mingle with the psyche of the audience and be, be a gift that our journey is, is kind of encapsulated in this uh, hour and a half or so and will unearth aspects in the audience. So it is a communal experience and it's been transformational for all of us involved. <laughs> ensemble performance of physical theatre and personal stories, autobiographical stories, by seven women, seven local women of various ages and backgrounds. And oh my god, what a journey it has been, you know, and I'm I'm just yeah, we we are in the middle of the day and everything has to happen tonight. We are sold out 150 with a waiting list. Such a good response from the community. approached by several women and I said to them, hey, let's do a group piece. You can have your solos within it, but let's do a piece together. And oh my god, it was just such a leap. I've never devised with an ensemble in my life. I had to really learn on my feet. And we only had nine weeks to create it from scratch, like from, from nothing, with such a vast subject. You know, this being a woman is is an enormous subject. So it was very naive to do it like that. And sometimes we need to maybe step over a precipice to find out, to have a new experience, to learn. <laughs> what makes me a woman? Mm -hmm. What makes me a woman? Mm -hmm. What makes me a woman? It's my dark, wet, so she What is it to be a woman? So we worked with polarities of yin yang, for example, and how does that sit within an individual woman? And we worked with four archetypes, four kind of primary archetypes, and found that as an entry. And with personal stories. So in the piece we have these seven vignettes, seven small personal stories of womanhood and the ensemble takes part in the individual stories and there are also collective whole group pieces. Um, why does that even help me? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? And then they go, fire burn up, ba 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 ba, you should have left the light on, oh, you should have left the light on. And at some point, she hooks me under the chin with a finger and draws my face towards hers. 
<laughs> they are so brave and their dedication has been amazing. Their willingness to keep on practicing, to keep on showing up. And this piece has unearthed a lot of things for us and our lives have been turned upside down because we were examining our relationship to um, the boundaries, to our bodies, our relationship to men, uh, our relationship to power, uh, our relationship to motherhood, our relationship to sex. So all of that suddenly was under the microscope in our lives. I don't know why it took me so long to say to a lover, hey, hey, please stop, stop. I feel nothing. But I'm wearing my new yellow bikini. I'm 50 years old and I'm wearing a yellow bikini. <laughs> hey, you're too old to be sexy. Who do you think you are? This line is mine. Mine. This line, all of it. Over here, for me. Over there's yours. I mean it. So we are both highlighting that and we are also offering a new possibility. We are basically saying a woman can be anything she wants to be and we, we're doing away with the boxes and we are doing away with the polarity of a woman's role and men's role. Um, we are basically saying what is a power of being a woman? What are the possibilities of being a woman? I felt like I'd been given this box that said girl slash woman on the side. It was far too small and it was really weirdly shaped. <laughs> and I spent a lot of years trying to get inside this box. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I am here. I am here. And I am free. Free to become part of the black velvet sky on the night of the dark moon. Deep, deep down into the underworld. Deep, deep down into the underbelly of my pain. The pain of being left by my mother when I was three.